they made big jump shots in the first 10 minutes and we made none of our open ones and the game was kind of over after that now having said that I, I, I'm, I'm trying to find some silver linings because you know we still have a lot of games to play and uh, to see Wirtz and Ryan in some kind of offensive rhythm fitting in and feeling good playing with our key guys that I'll take that out of the second half today because um, I, I didn't think we could get over the hump against them tried to but couldn't Tom Noy go ahead what did you see from that seven minute stretch there in the second half where it was a 24 point game? You guys cut it to 10. You know, we're, we're, uh, we're fighting, we're trying, you know, we've, uh, we're not the most confident group. You can't be when, when you have played the teams we played and, and, and just haven't been able to go in the locker room and, and, and celebrate. We're, we're not real confident and, and um, you can't inject that in, in somebody uh, I love that we fought and made it interesting. Uh, and then, you know, they made every big three-point shot today. And even some guys that haven't made, Marcel made three, you know, and he's not been a great shooter. So, again, you tip the cap. Um, but, you, you, you know, we're, we're fighting to get one. And Saturday will be really hard to get uh, because we're searching confidence-wise. Uh, Boston College actually is probably more confident than us because they just won a big game last night. I don't think they missed the shot. Patrick Engel. Mike, I know after, it came after a, a tough first half for you guys, but uh, given that the schedule softens a little bit over the next uh, couple of weeks, I mean, what was how much of your message to the team after the game was uh, looking at that second half and trying to get some confidence in there? I talked about the next two games in three days, Boston College and Howard, two games that are winnable, but they'll be very hard. You know, we're, we're, we're not the most confident group. So they're going to be very, very hard. And, and, uh, but I tried to turn the page and I, you know, I love, we fought and got into some kind of rhythm in the second half, but they kind of knocked us out almost uh, in the first half. Um, so we'll get out of here. It's been a long couple of days on the road. We, we've taken our beatings like a man. Um, but uh, as I told him in the last media timeout, I've been in this position many times in coaching when you are on flat on the mat and you're trying to come off. And when you do come off, those are some of the great memories of my tenure, you know, at Notre Dame when you're jammed up. And we are. We are flat on the mat. John Bryce. Mike, how can you try to harness what you got out of Cormac in the second half uh, moving forward? And then also part two would be how difficult is it when it when it's maybe something different each game? You know, against Virginia Tech, it was rebounding. Today it was perimeter defense. How much more yeah. difficult does that make it? Yeah, it makes it hard. I, I, you know, we're – these two teams that beat us are better than us. Um. You know, if we played them again and we don't play them again in uh, late February, maybe we could close the gap a little bit, but they're not, we're not, we can't beat them yet. And I've been merry matter of fact with our guys and we're not going to sit there and jump off buildings. We're going to try and come back and figure out how to get one league win. Um, I've used this speech over and over again. Quite frankly, I'm a little tired of using it because <laughs> when you coach at Notre Dame, you use it a number of times, as many of you know.